Hey everybody, Paul McGuire outside Massey Hall in Toronto on the Olay sponsored red carpet for the 2017 Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Neil Young, Bruce Coburn, Beau Dommage, and Stefan Venn are being inducted tonight. We're here talking to all of the artists involved, including the inductees. It's a huge night, we're here for a great reason. Uh, and you guys are, are getting to take part in something incredibly special. Uh, tell us a little bit about, uh, I guess, preparing to deliver music to a man who's being inducted into a Hall of Fame. It's a big deal, right? I think we've been preparing since about now, the early 70s. Yeah. I think that um, what uh, what these artists' music has meant to us and how they've inspired us as individuals and with their, with their songs has been our preparation for our entire lives. Bruce is sort of the He's kind of the, the, the archetypal singer-songwriter as a Canadian artist, you know, is coming up. You sort of look to him, how does he do what he does? You know, you try and figure out how to do the job by watching him. He's one of those guys. He's one of those people that you sort of learn from as you go. Apparently, Eddie Van Halen was asked what he felt like being, you know, what's it like to be the greatest guitar player in the world? He said, you should ask Bruce Cameron that. Tell me, like, in your own words, what this night means to you. What is it actually that you're doing? Well, obviously we're trying to, not obviously, we're trying to honor Neil, yeah. Neil Young. So I'm, I'm torn somewhat between the remaining sober in the task of honoring him and also just wallowing in the, or basking in the fact that he's gonna watch us play. Uh, it's obviously like the most intimidating thing we've probably ever done. But I, I said to Luke as we left the hotel room, I'm like, let's just keep it ragged. It's Neil yeah. Young, like he, that's what he's all about and yeah. we do that well. I'm part of something very, very honorable and amazing. Um, I get to uh, honor Neil Young this evening here at, at the legendary Massey Hall, yeah. so I'm gonna be singing one of his tunes. You know he's gonna be here. I, I am fully aware. I've been prepped and, uh, and guns loaded and, yeah. and I am uh, I know where he's sitting, so I'm gonna try and avoid looking in that direction because yeah. I might just like crack. Neil Young's presence, especially just to be a part of, you know, to sing something from Bruce Coburn's catalog, though, after meeting him a couple times and having these wonderful exchanges, and uh, I'm hoping to get his email by the end of the evening. I think I think that's where we're at now. The artists that we're singing for are true models, inspirations, beautiful careers, beautiful artists, and my peers as well on stage with me. We're having a blast. The Stefan Van song that you're doing is is there? I know it was about the '60s and that time, but there's something timeless about it as oh, well. Oh, totally, isn't it? yeah, totally. Because everybody who's doing a Stefan Van song tonight has adapted it to their own style yeah. and personality, and it works. So if a song works in any genre, any style, any groove, it's because it's a hell of a good song. I think it's it's a huge honor actually to be doing these songs from the inductees. You know, we have huge names, and it's just been you know very impressive careers um, that you know have like many of them have influenced me in some ways so I'm just very happy to be here and I think it's just such a great event. And tell me what tonight means to you. <laughs> a, a, a crise existentielle I guess in a way because it, it, it puts many things into perspective. <laughs> I think it is wonderful yeah. to recognize people for a long time service to the arts and music. Well, Jan, tell me a little bit about what the night means to you, and, and, and a view from the inside, please. Ah, uh, ben c'est une grande occasion euh, de, de chanter devant des artistes que je, que j'admire depuis que je suis tout jeune. Euh, beau dommage, euh, Stéphane Venn, qui est un grand auteur-compositeur euh, chez nous, ben, Bruce Coburn, puis Neil Young, c'est des influences, des gens que j'ai toujours admirés. Donc, euh, pour moi, il y a quelque chose de, il y a quelque chose de sacré, puis euh, de chanter à Toronto dans le mas, de Massey Hall, c'est un grand événement. On a Elage Diouf avec nous ce soir pour cette grande soirée. Ça veut dire quoi pour toi, beau dommage? C'est pas mal spécial? Ben, c'est, écoute, euh, Sénégalais, Africain d'origine du Sénégal qui a réussi, qui chante une chanson de beau dommage. Ça, c'est, ça va être dans l'histoire, ça. Donc, c'est une fierté parce que j'ai connu le groupe euh, quand je suis arrivé. Oui. Mais euh, j'ai jamais pensé, jamais pensé qu'un jour on m'inviterait pour venir. You know what's really cool about tonight? Yeah. I, I actually grew up with a lot of this music. I grew up in Montreal, so I grew up with the francophone artists. And then Bruce Coburn was like my guitar hero, you know, from the age of 14. And of course, Neil Young, who doesn't love Neil Young's music? So I mean, it's huge for me to be involved. I think it's really wonderful. You know, one of the things I think people might start realizing is the guitar proficiency of Mr. Coburn. I think that, that yeah. maybe gets lost in some of those, you know, the lists that include all these shredders. You know? Well, I think that people who have been with him since the early days yeah. probably really noticed his guitar playing more because the early records are a little more stripped down. But he always included instrumental tunes, you know, along the way. 
so you could keep up with his chops and stuff like that if you wanted to. But for me, it was really the musicality of it more than just the sheer talent involved. Uh, you know, great music. What does tonight mean? Sum it up for me in a few words. Oh, in a few words, it's very special because I'm a Montrealer, Inuk, uh, Inuk speaking. Um, uh, I was asked to sing two songs by two amazing artists, uh, Bruce Coburn, uh, which, is my, which is my hero. Really? I used to play his songs in my radio station in the north, so it, it's a real honor. Yeah. And then I'm doing this very special romantic uh, French song. I never get to sing in French. I do speak it, but it's very nerve-wracking because uh, these are amazing uh, singer-songwriters that we have to honor. And of course, Neil and Buffy are in the house, so it's... It's quite You know what? Happening. I don't think you have anything to be nervous about because all I'm sensing here tonight so far is love. Yeah, That's totally. It. I, I agree with love you. Love of music and of oh, the people involved. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When you're asked to do something like this, I always find that there's a certain, I, I don't know, there's, it, it's um, a little stamp of approval. Mm -hmm, right? Definitely. It's like, hey, we dig what you do so much. We want, it, we want you to be a part of us honoring some legendary musicians. Yeah. What was it like to get the call? Wow, really yeah. crazy. My manager was like, I think you need to take a seat for this one. <laughs> uh, and I did. Um, I'm so excited, I mean, to be honoring such icons and Neil Young, I'm just excited to be here. You know, he makes music that's really important and he stands for things that are also really important, so I think he's just all around like a great artist. What, what does it mean, first of all, to you guys to be a part of it? it it's crazy because uh, we come in here and we rehearse and we see people like Katie Lang on stage and, you know, I have the honor, we get to sing backups for her tonight and we also get to sing just in an honorable place such as Massey Hall. It's a bucket list thing that we're crossing off tonight and we're just so pumped to be here. It makes us want to just write more songs and just like do our best and it really pumps you up as an artist that's just like coming into the scene like us and when you're a new artist or a young person, um, yeah, it can really, really inspire you and make you work hard. That's the thing that I'm excited. Like we got to write songs tomorrow, okay guys? We're very proud to be uh, a sponsor of the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame Gala 2017 and I remember fondly when I was on the inaugural board of the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame and and um, I have to give a big shout out to Frank Davies, who is the founder and, and such a great man and started this whole uh, amazing event. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to seeing tonight's show and, and uh, all the great songwriters this always brings out. And I think the exciting thing about songs is they transcend not only genres, but, but uh, transcend the ages. So, yeah. you know, you can hear songs that were written 100 years ago. Uh, sort of revitalized and, and expressed in new ways, and I think that's what's exciting about songs. So uh, I think tonight's gonna be great, and yeah. get to see a lot of uh, great performances. I don't quite have a, a single simple question to ask you. I can't imagine what it's like to be celebrated in this way. Neither do I. Yeah. So I'll take it this way. It's very important in Canada and Quebec to know, to be conscious of the fact that some things made years ago are still there. The, the sense of continuity. If I look this, at the city here, everything is new. So we fall in love with new things. We got to keep being in love with, I won't say older things, but things that last. Is there something that you, that you can look back at when you were first starting out that you can attribute some of your longevity to? I'm not a performer. The difference between me and all the inductees tonight is that they are performers, I'm not. I never have to worry about, is my hair okay? Is my <laughs> pants okay? I never have to, to do that. All I have to care about is, is the song okay? I love that. And for the record, even if you're not a performer, your hair looks great. You look fantastic <laughs> today. Congratulations, first of all. I'm thinking from Felix Awards to touring the world to being inducted into the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame. Who would like to sum that up in a few words? Well, it's a lot of a good trip for us. <laughs> Pretty good, right? <laughs> Pretty good trip. Uh, it, legacy is a word that I've been using a lot tonight, and, and it, this is an opportunity for you to, obviously, I, everybody's still very prolific in their lives, but uh, this is an opportunity to look back, take stock, and rejoice, I think. Yeah. Definitely. Ma ma rejoice. Mainly rejoice. Mainly rejoice. rejoice. Yes. 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 Still, so happy to see that the songs are still uh, being played, being sung, being heard. Being loved. Uh, being loved. <laughs> so it's it's a great victory for us. I know I know something like this uh, will give um, old fans of yours, people that have been there with you since the beginning, a lot of joy. 
But I find that events like this also uh, expose the music to new generations of artists have, and, and fans. Have you experienced that already? Yeah. A lot. I mean, the kids uh, learn our songs from their, their fathers and mothers and their grandmothers and their fathers also. They learn them in school also. Yeah. They learn them in school. It's, it's great for us. Yeah. It's great. I, my wish is that uh, tonight uh, will help some people uh, from the rest of Canada, English-speaking people, to listen to Buddha Maj and, and, and to see what it's all about. That, that would be great for us. Can you give me a, a little bit of insight into to what you attribute your longevity to, to what you attribute the timelessness of your music to? Well, I think that when we first started to write songs, we wrote them from the heart. We wrote them with our uh, love of Montreal, our love of, of, of uh, our life in Quebec and Montreal. And we didn't try to be uh, à la mode, okay? We we try to work outside of the fashion of the of the sound of the. We, we try to create an original sound, and and that sound will. Uh, it took on from there, and people still listen to it, and it hasn't aged that much. You went with your collective guts, and it's still and you're still standing here today, <laughs> and you're being inducted. Congratulations! Thank, Thank you so much for doing Thank this. You. Enjoy the evening.